my name is David Rain. I'm Associate Professor of Geography and International Affairs at GW. I've been teaching at GW since 2001. I am currently getting eaten by mosquitoes, but I want to show you my happy place here is my fish pond, which I and my family spend a lot of time hanging out at. I come from a big family. Um, I've got four kids. Uh, we are loud and a little crazy when they all get together. We are both cat people and dog people, although we only have cats in our house to teach um, society and environment, which I'm teaching this fall. Uh, people, land, and food, uh, another geography class, the geography of Africa, uh, and cities in the developing world. my back deck when that works, uh, weather-wise, uh, or in one of many uh, video places in my house. I have a few set up. I love being outside. I'm a big, um, avid bicyclist. I love cooking and baking. Uh, I've made a uh, pizza every Tuesday night for the last few weeks. Um, I enjoy brewing, um, and I do have a batch uh, that's about ready to drink now, which is fabulous. I'm de-emphasizing testing, uh, limiting it to weekly quizzes, more emphasis on group work, with all the caveats about group work. Sometimes you end up being the one who does more work than anybody else, so that's how it appears to you. It is a way that we learn um, by learning from each other. I'm really gonna emphasize active learning in this class, and so there'll be discussions every week. Lectures will be given asynchronously. We're gonna be doing debates, public opinion polling about, um, about the environment. I really plan to, and I feel like I have begun to take advantage of all the um, bells and whistles that Blackbird offers with Collaborate Ultra and also um, Echo 360, so I can record lectures, we can do discussions. Meeting the students uh, online as much as I can, so I'll be doing virtual office hours. I have graduating seniors, uh, so we're taking um, we would be taking them on a field trip. Um, we might have to do a virtual camping trip this year um, just to give them the chance to bond with each other a little bit. I love the interactivity, and even in a class of 80 or 100, I um, try to encourage discussion and questions, making ideas come alive, exploring different debates within environment and geography. And this is really a lifelong connection. I've got many, many um, now friends who are students of mine way back when, who I'm in touch with and have collaborated with on various projects. Don't be afraid to speak up. Uh, please uh, reach out to your instructors, um, make time for a Zoom or WebEx one-on-one, -on -one, talk about your progress, talk about what you're getting out of the class, what works and doesn't work. Your professor should have office hours virtually uh, and you can check in with them then. society environment. Um, many debates I'm very interested in, of course, but um, I love to having the opportunity to talk about animals. Um, I'm a big animal person myself. Uh, I love being outdoors and um, the opportunity to talk about the natural world is really uh, gives me a boost. Um, I try to be outside as much as possible. My advice overall to students uh, is to be actively involved. Don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid to raise your hand um, in a lecture. 
um, virtually as well as in person. And don't be afraid to go to your instructor with questions. Uh, we're all new at this, and so we're all getting up to speed. And so um, the gentler we can be with each other, I think the better off we'll all be. Take full advantage whenever you can of opportunities that the instructors give you to interact with each other, um, both to process material and also get involved, get involved in the real world. I've um, encouraged students in my assignments to um, write letters, send emails, write the author of the article, give questions. Um, it is a racing time if you're an environmentalist to be involved in some of these issues, but it's also a great time to get involved because uh, there's so much work that needs to be done, not only given the fact that it's an election year, uh, but also that um, many different laws, regulations that apply to the environment are under siege now, and so it's really important for people to get involved.